everyone, it's Scraps here, also known as Jordan. I wanted to guide you th uh, today through a synth I've been working on for quite some time. Um, it's actually... <sighs> it's called Bad Signals. Yes, I forgot the name, but who cares. This Bad Signal patch is a little bit different from our previous patches we've been making. The difference between uh, the patches I've been showing you and this patch is it devolves into a little bit um, higher harmonizing, meaning that when you play notes around C3 to C2, uh, even majors and minors, and they're all the they're only going to be a few keys that sound correct. Now the reason for the synth is what once you start playing it at higher keys. Uh, such as C4 and uh, all the way to C8, probably even higher than that. Uh, you're harmonizing for the keys. Um, they respond really well, and you get a lot of analog or digital new sounds when you start to develop your sound, when you, uh, when you travel beyond just your normal range. When you go below C2 to C1 and above C3 to C4, you start to get um, stranger results. So have a listen to this a quick example of how I use the synth above and below uh, C3 to C4. Um, I'm sorry, C3 to C5. So have a listen. I'll play a little instance of uh, the modular E. I uh, always forget this, always arm into the track you're working with. So right now I'm going to play C sharp, uh, C4 sharp, and I'll switch keys and go to C uh, C3 sharp, and then I'll go to C2 sharp and C1 sharp and then go to D sharp they only work with certain keys I'll play you uh, C2 uh, all the way to C3 and you only start to notice a few keys that actually make sense Anyways, um, I think it would be a good idea to show you this te technique to make this synth because then you start to say, well, I wonder what else works with the synths I've been making, like uh, what other keys? Because normally, if you're going to be producing Electro House, you wouldn't range anything more than C2 to C3. Um, that's just how things are. Same way in trance, you use four chords within C2 to C3 or depending on what major you're using. So if you're using E2 major, you go to E3 major. So anyways, um, that's a little bit of music theory. I don't know a whole lot. Anyways, I'll just show you this synth. So I've opened up a new document. I'm going to right click or control click if you're on a Mac. Uh, PC, it's right click because you have the PC mouse or you can just go and get a PC mouse for my Mac That's what I do and I click utilities combinator In this I'm going to create a new instance of subtractor make sure it's initialized always make sure Okay, so for patch C we're gonna leave the f I'm sorry for patch E We're gonna leave the frequency filter frequency all the way uh, where it initializes, so at 32, we're going to change the rate to 12, the polyphony to 12, and the portamento uh, about 36, and turn it to legato. I'm also going to turn up the resonance a bit, so about 20, and I'm going to turn up the phase amount all the way. 
And that should do it for our modulator parameters. Um, for now, I'm going to turn our, let's see, our oscillator one phase needs to go to 14. Do we want to make it a uh, second octave, not fourths. Change it to a positive algorithm or the X. Turn on oscillator two. And on oscillator two, we're going to change the phase amount to 86. So there we go. And we're going to take it down an octave and make sure it's on a positive algorithm. Now it's very important for this step. If you, uh, for the FM amount, we want it to be 24. If we change this any higher or any lower, we're going to get a completely different signal than what we're aiming for. For our filter frequency, we want to turn it up to 78. And for our amp envelope, turn up the decay and sustain all the way. Turn up the release about 34 and the attack about 18. That should be good. And let's see. Anything else? No. That seems about right. Uh, yeah. So after this, we're going to create a pulsar, which can be found in utilities. By the way, I'm running C, uh, Reason 6.5. Reason 7 should be coming out later this year, uh, probably right after the summer. Anyways, um, after this, we're going to create a uh, line 6 base amp. Just turn on the compressor. We're going to create a screen 4 distortion unit found in creative effects. And I'm going to turn it to modulate. And for P1, I'm going to turn it about 3 quarters of the way. And P2, a little bit past halfway. So about 68 should be fine. Damage control needs to be about 40. And that should do it for that. After this, we're going to create a soft tube saturation knob. Turn it to about 0.7. Keep it low. And for after this, we're going to create an RV7000. Make sure each one is about um, 20. Dry wet to 20 and decay to 21. Because I can't get it exactly 20. Although that should be fine. After this, we're going to create an MC class equalizer and an MC class maximizer. Followed by a line 6 base amp. Okay, so we're going to turn on low cut, and for parameter 1, we're going to turn our first frequency, uh, about 154 hertz, uh, take the gain down all the way, and the Q all the way up. For parameter 2, we're going to copy the same thing, except we're going to do the frequency to about 3.829 kilohertz, gain down, Q all the way up. High shelf, take it as low as it'll go, turn it up about 0.6 or 1.1, and turn our Q to 0.5, or as low as it will go. For our maximizer, we're going to take it the soft clip amount to 127. We're going to turn it on auto-release and take off limiter. Then, all we need to do is turn on our compressor. Okay. This is a bit tricky. Uh, the reason why it's tricky is because I copied the patch almost exactly. The only things we need to do right now is flip it over and take our filter frequency one and apply it to our first LFO on our pulsar. Let me make sure and go down. Nope, that's pretty much all we need to do. Okay, so. On this, we want to change our rate to 1 8 and our level about 3 quarters of the way. So about 86% should be fine. Hmm. This is a bit troublesome. Oh, almost forgot. Okay, 
as you can tell, uh, our sounds sound um, different. I will upload this patch because, um, just because. <laughs> that's it. Um, actually, no, that's not it. Um, my materials. I'm looking for my patches, but I guess that will wait till next time. Okay, so since you guys, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have saved it as bad signal. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot today. Anyways, um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this um, building session. I will upload the bad signals patch to the patches bay. Not patch bay. Never mind. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed me ranting about this synth, but it seems whenever I make a synth for you guys, it doesn't even come out correctly, even if I follow things to the letter. I don't know why that is. I'm following everything the way it should be. I don't know. I don't have the answers for that. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but on Friday, I'll be showing you how to create, uh, I don't know at this point. I guess I'll just be making sense for you guys until you decide on what to do. Uh, I guess for Friday, I will be guiding you, let me actually write this down so that way I can remember and do it for you guys. Let's see. Okay, so for Friday, write this down for Friday. Uh, what should I make for you guys? Um, how about an introduction? An introduction. To uh, synthesis. Okay. So, on Friday, we'll be discussing synthesis and what are the very many different types of synthesis. I'm going to be going over the basic ones and most likely Ableton because Ableton is a little bit easier to follow because it's, uh, everything is built in. Same thing with Reason, although you need to download extras and other crap like that. Um, in Ableton, I currently do not have Ableton 9. Um, still trying to get funds to run my business, even though it's not really a business, it's just a picture. Um, it's not actually a picture, anyways. What I'm trying to say is that anyone who wants to be on my label is free to be on my label. It's basically just an underground uh, label recognition. So, in other words, you can use it to your discrete. Um, you can use it as your leisure. You just need to contact me and I'll give you permission. That's all there is to it. Um, anyways, have a great Wednesday and I will see you guys Friday.